This video is made possible by EA Game Changers. Thanks, EA. Hi, guys. My name is Gina Gemskull, and welcome to a look at the Grand Garages new live event. Now, this live event comes out with the update of the same name, the Grand Garages update, that is going to be released on the 12th of March 2019. And this event does actually start on the 12th of March as well. So as soon as you update your game, you should get this pop up, the new live event Grand Garages. It is a 10 day event. Build your ultimate garage now. Claim the grand prize to unlock driveway home lots. These allow you to build up to the footpath and have parking for four cars. This is going to be amazing i am so excited for this to have garages within the game if you're watching this video between the 12th and the 22nd of march the event time and you haven't got this event make sure that your update your game has been updated and if you are watching after i'm afraid you have missed this event sims freeplay do bring back the events on a regular basis though so keep your eye on future updates for when the grand garages live event will return so let's start collecting. So when you pop up, obviously just click on start collecting. And this is a live event like all of the previous live events that we have had in the past. There will be a short tutorial at the start if you have never done one before. Just follow the tutorial and do the things that it is telling you to do. So it's telling us to place a crafting station in the home store. There is an event tab. So in your event tab, Go ahead and place down a candle station there. You can see here it's just taken, it's taken us through. I'm going to place all four down of the candle stations. Once we have our crafting stations, we'll go ahead and we'll start making some candles. Once you've crafted your first items, you can see top left of the screen, you'll get the Grand Garages little button that you can go ahead and press and you will get the Grand Garages grid that you can see all of the prizes for. It, like I say, it works the same as all of the other live events that we have had before. You gradually work your way along the bar there and unlock the different stations, the jewellery station, the glassware, the pottery. And then you unlock the different prizes as well. And once you've unlocked the prizes, you can then purchase them down here. And oh my goodness, check this out. Look at these prizes. Garage dryer. Oh, wow. Garage sink and counter. Garage cupboard and shelves. Home maintenance. Look at that little tool thing there. Garage conveniences. Single garage door and lighting. Oh my goodness, I am so looking forward to this. Oh, garage games. A frame roof okay and then the grand prize is a family garage home these driveway homes give more space to build and the ability to design to assign up to four cars to four sims comes with driveway paving and exterior wall that matches your new a frame roof so we should go ahead and we should purchase all of these the demo game that sims Freeplay play have given me to give you a early preview of this event has already got all of the arts and crafts collectibles collected so I can just go ahead and buy everything. Before we check out the prizes, some tips for completing these live events in time are always do, if you can get on your game often, always do the two and a half hour option on all of the arts and crafts. You will get more arts and crafts items kind of like per minute or per hour by doing it that way. Obviously if you can't access your game as often, do longer ones like overnight Obviously, you're not going on your game. Do the eight and a half hour one overnight. But during the day, do the do the short one if you can access your game and come in as often as you can and collect the bonus items that pop up above the Sims heads. Make sure that every craft station is being used. Don't have an empty one. Obviously, if you've got the Sims to spare, if you haven't got the Sims to spare, there's nothing that you can do about that. But if you've got Sims to sp spare, make sure they are working on getting arts and crafts items for you always make sure that you are completing your daily goals because those additional constructor coins that you get from completing your daily goals really do add up towards the end definitely make sure you are doing that let's go ahead and unlock all of the prizes and take a look at them all so we have this dappled brick wall which is here let's place that down i like that good inside of a garage right 
The next thing that we can unlock is the waste bin. You can see on each of them how many candles, how many arts and crafts items and constructor coins it's going to cost you to unlock each item. Let's get the waste bin here. And as with events normally in Sims Free Play, you get the first item for free and then you have to pay for additional ones. So you can see there that the first one was free and then they are, wow, 15 LP for a waste bin. Wow. And let's see what interactions. We can take out the trash for four seconds. Here he comes. Taking out the trash. Oh, and there we go, done. The next thing we can unlock is the recycling bin. Oh, that's good. I like that we have a recycling bin. So this is blue. First one again is free. And then 150,000 for a bin. Wow. And take out trash, four seconds. Same, same thing as with the green rubbish bin there. The next thing that we unlock is the garage dryer. I am loving the look of this. And here we go, we have a grey garage dryer, first one free, and then additional ones are 250,000. I feel like things are getting quite expensive in The Sims free play. Let's see, we can load the dryer, so the interactions for this are the same as with the indoor one, or not the indoor one, the, the, the previous one that we had, this is still an indoor one. <laughs> I like it, and then once you've got the washing in, you can unload the dryer but that does seem very expensive the next thing of course we need a garage washing machine if we have a garage dryer we have unlocked that let's go ahead and place that one down a garage washer and then 250,000 for additional ones wow and the same thing is well as the dryer load washer it's the same kind of same look to the uh to the interaction with the item. I do like that though. Look at the, the top with the, the like the washing powder and the detergent on there and the towels. And again, you can unload that washer as well. The next thing is garage, sink and counter. Let's purchase those. And here we go, gray garage sink. Let's place that one down. And gray garage bench. So you could probably, you could put a few along with the benches, couldn't you really? The grey garage sink is 85,000 for additional ones after the first free one, and the garage bench is, is 60,000, sorry. Let's have a little look, I assume, yeah, it's just the same interactions that you can do with any sink. I like those. The next items is the garage cupboard and shelves, so let's purchase them. Unlocked those. You may see that we have a new section, a garage section. We'll talk about that in a moment. Let's see, we have grey shelves here, and grey cupboard there. And actually, let's just see how much. So the grey shelves are hundred thousand. This is gonna be the most expensive garage ever, right? If you uh, if you put some of these items in, grey shelves are a hundred thousand, and grey cupboard is seventy thousand. And maybe we can't, no, I didn't think we'd be able to interact. We can't really interact with those. But I like the look of them. This is where it gets interesting, I feel. The, we have the home maintenance, which is, what do we get? We get a few items here. Let's unlock that, or purchase them, I should say, not unlock it. Purchase those. And we will place one of each down. So we have a workbench over here. A blue lawnmower. Oh, I wonder if that can be interact. Oh, does that have to be placed outside? I mean, that seems a bit ridiculous that the lawnmower can't be placed inside the garage, in all honesty. Let's just place this down. The tools. So the black garden tools are 180,000. The lawnmower. Wow, nearly half a million <laughs> for that lawnmower. And the workbench is 120. I mean, those prices just seem ridiculous to me and stop can we not we can't even interact with this i feel like that needs to be an interactive item the tools they look amazing maybe it's just on the test version of the game i wouldn't have thought so i would have thought that that will be what it will be like but that's a little bit disappointing that we don't interact with that let's see the lawn mower we can interact we can do mow lawn for eight minutes or perfect mow for 36 let's see him pushing this lawnmower along. 
Oh, it it turns white. Maybe, again, maybe that's a little bug within the test version. <laughs> but it turns white when he starts um, cutting the lawn with it. <laughs> Pretty odd. I like that though. Look at it. Is there? Oh, there is. I was going to say there's bits of grass flying up from it. There is. The next thing that we unlock is garage conveniences. Also, we've got a chest freezer, laundry hamper, and a cleaning bucket. Purchase those. And let's place those down. So a small white freezer. So we've got a chest freezer there. And then 340 for additional ones. A red cleaning bucket that can be placed on the floor or up on a work surface. I like that. And then a grey hamper. Uh, oh, is it like a... Oh, it's like a washing basket. So the cleaning bucket is 62,000 and the grey hamper is 81. Wow. Let's see how they can be interacted with. So we can look for a quick meal or we can tidy the freezer. I like those. Let's have a little look at what that looks like. Here comes our sim. Looking for a quick meal. So that's what that... Oh. <laughs> he didn't fancy that meal. He's just chucked it behind him. That's what that looks like. <laughs> I wonder what it looks like to tidy the freezer. Does it look the same? Yeah, it's the same. It's the same, the same look for doing both of those. And then, can we do anything? We can't do anything with the hamper and we can't do anything with the bucket. Now the next thing is a single garage door and lighting. So finish off your garage with ceiling lighting and a classic garage door. Let's purchase that. This is, it's, this is getting exciting now. Let's go in home store. And so single grey door. So is this how garages are going to be? That it's just going to be on a room? I don't know. I don't know at the moment how it's going to be. Let's place that one down. And oh my goodness, yeah. That was, we should have known. That single grey door, that's 50 LP for new ones. And we have a white light. Let's place that down. Can I have a garage light? 65,000. Let's take a look at this. I mean, I love it. It's amazing, but wow. Look at that. Fantastic. So expensive. Let's, oh, it's already on. That light. That's what the light, the door, sorry, looks like from the, from the inside. And then the next thing we unlock is the double garage door and motor. Oh, so single garage door, not grand enough for you. Dream big with this double garage door complete with motor. Let's purchase that one. So with this, we get a double grey door and a white door motor. So we can just place that kind of anywhere. We, we can add that kind of like to here, right? And pretend that it was on the, the single door. Does that stop the door from opening or anything? No. So that would work. It can go on there. And then let's place the double. Am I going to be able to place the double? <laughs> I'm going to have to move a few things around. Hang on. All right, I've moved a few things. Let's try again. Let's see if this fits yes there we go place that down and then wow 70 um, lp for additional ones it looks nice but it looks <laughs> seems very expensive there we go for a door oh, that one's hang on is it back to front that one's back to front hang on how do we let's turn it around yeah that's better that's the outside right yeah and then the next thing is the garage game. So we've got ping pong and pool there. Got to have them in your garage, right? Let's see. And we've got, there we go, blue ping pong table. And a blue uh, pool table. 850, so 850 for both of those. Wow. And let's see. We can play solo or wait for a sim to join. Let's just play solo. <laughs> He's over here by himself. This is cool. Is he any good? Hmm. Not really. He probably does need a bit of practice. What's he aiming for? No, he's not so good. And then <laughs> let's see. Ping pong, I assume. Oh, he can practice. Can he only practice? So he's practicing, I assume. Oh, yeah. If you click on, I brought his friend over to test. If you bring someone else over and click on the ping pong whilst, or table tennis, whilst he's practicing, they'll start playing table tennis together. The next unlock is the A-frame roof, an amazing alternative to the antiquated roofing. Enjoy this new A-frame roof style. 
let's purchase that. There they are, playing ping pong together. And new items, A-frame, dark slate. So you can see that there. How that roof looks. And then once you have unlocked and purchased everything, you then have access to the family garage home, which you can claim. Congratulations, you've unlocked the family garage home. You can assign up to four cars to four adult sims and driveway home lots. These lots also have extra space allowing you to build up to the footpath. Find it in the driveway homes tab when building a new home lot. You can find your new exterior walls and driveway paving in the exterior walls and patios tabs of the home store. Note, the patios tabs will become available when the DIY Peaceful Patios quest has been completed okay so that is finished we have completed the grand garages live event and had a look at all the prizes apart from the grand prize so let's go and check it out so out on the town map when you go to build a house now you can click on either the large or the standard lots click on it and you have this extra tab this driveway homes and we have the family garage home that we won by completing the live event so let's click on and we will build it and here we go this is the house so congratulations on building your new driveway lot you can now unlock and add up to an additional three car spaces to this lot by tapping on the pulsing padlock icon on the road driveway lots also allow you to build your house up to the footpath okay so oh, look at this yeah see you can purchase additional spaces to have additional cars that's pretty that's pretty neat so let's see let's have a little look at this house so yeah garages look like they are just in fact rooms there's nothing special about them with this new update we do have a new feature quest available which is a new type of quest the cars on lots feature quest that once you complete that which is available from march the 12th i will link that video down below once you complete that you will actually be able to pick up your cars and place them onto your lot so you can put them inside the garages which is amazing you should definitely check out that video if you haven't already seen it Wow, but look at this house. I like this build. Look at that. I love it. And then we've got the backyard there. So, so cool. I like how, hang on a second, they have two different, we haven't been able to do that before, right? Have different exteriors. They've got downstairs, has got a different exterior to upstairs. We need to check that out. Let's have a little tour of the house so we go in here I love this uh, this entrance way thing there this is a nice build how do we get to the garage after we get to the garage oh two ways yeah we can get to it from the outside or we can get to it from through the kitchen there we get quite a few of the items that we did unlock with this build it's a nice build it's got quite a lot of the it's a very nice build actually it's using a lot of the new ish items of furniture Go upstairs. I love this build. Oh, look at this like upstairs area. It's a really nice house. Lots of the amazing furniture is being used here. <laughs> little cute kids' bedroom. So let's just take a little look at the kind of the build in terms of what does it mean that you can build right up to the pavement there? I think we need to move someone into this house with a car and see what we can do. So I've moved in a sim and then if we go over to the car dealership, let's just try and buy a car and okay so here Elizabeth Roberts is a sim that I've moved in, it says available spaces one of four, so let's give her that car, so if we, we need to move another sim in, so you can only have one car per sim. It's pretty cool though, I really like it. There we go, that is the Grand Garages live event and all of the prizes. Like I say, that is gonna start on March the 12th, it is a 10 day event. Let me know what you think about it and all of the prizes, I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new and I will see you soon, bye.